We're Ashley and Christian, and we're currently on a road trip driving through Transylvania. After landing in Bucharest, we're headed straight to Sinaia to get a bird's eye view of the city and to see our first Romanian castle, Palish Castle. We have officially started our Romanian Transylvania road trip and stress. <laughs> We've noticed about every kilometer or so, there's a giant roadside stand for produce, which is awesome. But people just kind of go, oh, I see that one. And they go off the road really fast. Right now we are headed to Palish Castle. It's in Sinea. It's about an hour south of Brasov, which is where we are headed for the night. But we're excited to get into Romania and start exploring. This is a country that's been on our list for a long time. We have arrived in Sinea, which is our first stop in Transylvania, and we actually stopped at the bank and pulled out some money, and look how pretty this is. This is about $100 USD, 400 lei. It's the plasticky, more durable money. Nice, pretty money. Our first stop is the cable car. Love cable cars. I think it just goes up to the top of this mountain here, so that's where we're headed. Whoa. Completely honest, I have no idea what we're doing. Uh, we just saw a cable car and we thought that it looked cool. It was 120 for two people to go up to the top of something. It looks like this is like a ski resort during the winter, but it looks like it should be a really pretty view. We were driving through the mountains earlier and I'm pretty excited to go up there. This cable car is so fast. Got off on the 1400 meter platform or stop. I think there's just a restaurant a chairlift over here, and another gondola line that we don't even know what that is. And we're actually going to go up to the 2,000 meter stop. So we bought tickets for the whole entire round trip, and that was what was 60 lei per person. Just getting our way to the top. I think when we get up there, we'll have a nice view. This is definitely the more classic of the cable cars. This one seems like it's a lot more rustic. These are kind of cool. These are more like traditional looking and very unique. It's, uh, this is really cool. We are officially at the top of the mountain. I think this is called Kota. They call it Kota 2000. We are at the highest point you can go by cable car. For this being a completely random last minute stop, it's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. It's your view up here and it's also about 20 degrees cooler up here, so we love it. <laughs> we were just walking along here and all these cows showed up. Well, they didn't show up, we showed up. Look how cute, just like in Switzerland. Can I pet that one? No, <laughs> I'm not a cow petter. <laughs> I just got mauled by like 10 flies. I got bit on the neck, on the knee, and then one landed directly on my face.
We are driving up to Pelish Castle, which is an extremely well-known castle here in Romania. Closes in about 30 minutes, so we're gonna have to hurry on in. We're on our way up this beautiful cobblestone road. Pretty fitting for a castle, I guess you could say. This castle looks awesome. We saw it from the top of the gondola. They quit letting people in in about 10 minutes. You have to park kind of far away. Not not far, far away, but like a quarter mile. Far, far away. So, far, far away. As long as we get in the door, they might, you know, stay open a little later, hopefully. After the first round of construction finished in 1883, Palish Castle was the summer home of the Romanian royal family until 1947. Tucked away in the Carpathian Mountains, the castle was built along a medieval route linking Transylvania with Wallachia. Built in neoclassical style, the castle has over 160 rooms and you can visit about 15 to 20 of them. And this is actually the first European castle to have electricity. stained glass in there are Swiss. So that's that's awesome. They're from the 16th and 17th century. That incredible chandelier in the processional halls is commissioned in Murano, which is in Italy. They were rushing us out of there. <laughs> Totally worth it. We're gonna look at the outside of the castle, which is probably even cooler. It was inaugurated in 1883 though, so that's when people started living here. Around three or 400 men of different nationalities were working on this castle to build it, which is evident by the beautiful Murano glass from Italy, the stained glass from Switzerland, and the German architecture. So this is kind of a melting pot of castles. This castle looks incredibly unique, very fairy tale esque and it's just beautiful. So even though we were rushed out of the inside of the castle, we were able to spend some time out here just enjoying how it looks from the outside, which I think is the is the true star of the show, is the outside of the castle. Village Castle has not let down. It's honestly so amazing just how much work they put into this place. This is just like a fairy tale castle. Wow, what an incredible castle. And we actually have like three or more still to see here in Romania. Corn. The corn. <laughs> uh, there's a lady out here just selling some corn for five lay, so. We thought, why not? Is it good? That was great. It is great corn. Honestly, Super buttery, I can tell. so yeah. fitting for like castles and stuff. Just a big, large piece of corn. <laughs> Castle corn. Now we're gonna walk down back to our car. <laughs> 